Y'all know we've been talking about it, y'all. Y'all know we've been talking about it. And, you know, I'm to the point now that I want this to happen now. I want this to happen because at this point in the game, it needs to. Everybody saw St. Brown, the St. Brown brothers on the 33, the 33rd team, which is a fantastic YouTube channel. Fantastic idea. I'm just mad I didn't think of it. I mean, it wouldn't have made a lot of sense because I'm not a player, but they are. I love it. I love it. Shout out to The Rock, too, man. Did his XFL thing. I didn't watch. I feel bad, but I was too busy, okay? But Jalen Ramsey keeps coming up in conversation. And St. Brown, St. Brown shot his shot trying to recruit Jalen Ramsey. Shout out to Mr. Poole, who, who showed me the clip. He sent me the clip, and I ain't watched because I'm so busy. I be driving a lot, and if you... Ask my wife, if you send me a text while I'm working, I, I probably won't respond. She'd be like, did you get my text? I'd be like, you send me a text. And it, it's sad because my phone is my life. Like, it's literally, I'm like the Adam Schefter of, of the gig kind world, right? But Mr. Poole sent me this, this information, man, from the Pro Bowl when Jared Goff was mic'd up. And wouldn't it be cool to see Jared Goff relaxed in, in a relaxed setting? You know, he buy, I think he get married this year. I don't know. I don't know. Shout out to Chris. But... Jared Goff, Amar Ross St. Brown, Jalen Ramsey was yapping it up at the Pro Bowl on the sideline. Now, it's no coincidence that St. Brown said something, shoot a shot with Jalen. Hey, man, I'm here. You might get traded, bro. You might get released. Hey, come to Detroit, bro. Uh, Come to Detroit, bro. Now, here's my thing. Here's my thing. I say yes. I say I'm at the point now I went from no I went from character issues, I went from all this to, you know what, why not? Why not bring Jalen Ramsey to the D? Because the argument that we were having, the fan base, it's two things, it's three things, really. It is his character, it is his salary, it is his age, okay? And what I want you to understand is that Brad Holmes right now has not done, he has not done what Matt Patricia and Bob Quinn have done. We act like that he's, he, he spends money like them. I brought up Deron Payne in a video last week on Detroit Lions Syndicate, and I, <laughs> I felt this was disrespectful. A lot of people want to go back to Trey Flowers. Well, look what happened with Trey Flowers. Can we not do that? Can we not do that? Trey Flowers was never a $90 million guy. Him and Romeo had the same amount of sacks the year, I think, the year we signed him. Seven and a half. Trey Flowers is a seven and a half sack guy. That's what we heard before he got here. And guess what he was here, y'all? A seven and a half sack guy. Always injured. Right? To compare (laughs) Matt Patricia to anyone and anything he's ever done pushed out is, is not even fair to Brad Holmes and Dan Campbell. You got to believe that if we brought in Payne, it would be where it was reasonable. I believe that this guy knows what he's doing. So bring that back to Ramsey. Yeah, Ramsey, salary is costly. Look at Jared Goff, another monster contract that we would take on. But let's not forget that we can can restructure Jared Goff. Jared, we can restructure that dude. We can create some cap space. He did it when he first got here. Lions fan says, well, Dern said one side locked down. Absolutely. Lions fan express says the positivity, the positive of Jalen Ramsey, he's a good, he's a position of need. The Lions wouldn't have to pay all his salary and he would be an immediate upgrade. But what do they need to give up to get him? Okay. Mr. Poole says Trey Flowers played one week this past season with Miami and spent the rest of his time on IR. Oh, my God. That sounds like the Trey Flowers that we know and love. Trey I.R. Flowers. Crazy. That is crazy. Not a surprise, but crazy. So, (laughs) what should we, what would we give up? Okay, question. Question to the chat and the viewer watching this on playback. Do you think the Minnesota Vikings got fleeced for either, either or and both, or both, the Jamison Williams trade and the T.J. Hawkinson trade. 
do you think we fleeced the L.A. Rams to trade Matthew Stafford? If the answer is yes, what do you think Brad Holmes will do this time around? Right? What do you think he will do? He got a fleece up his sleeve, if that's the word you use. Now, I never really use that word. But my point is, Brad Holmes will work something out. You better believe it. And let's not forget that Jalen Ramsey can also want to come to Detroit. Now, for everyone who is watching this, I want you to remember this from here on out. I want you to remember this. When your team is, hopefully we never will have to go through this again for many, many years or decades, hopefully. We've been through it enough. But when your team is losing, don't you ever in your life utter the word tank. Don't you ever in your life utter the word tank. You know why? Because tanking doesn't, you know how you bring people to the team when you tank? You have to pay them an astronomical amount of money. But you know what brings them to your team? Winning. You know nobody wanted to come here with Matt Patricia. You know everybody wants to come here with Dan Campbell. He's a coach. He's a player's coach. Never in your life use the word tanking because we will never attract a standout player who, by the way, we need. I understand y'all want to keep building the team with rookies, but we need some veteran leadership. We need a dog immediately. We don't need a developmental dog. We got enough of them. We will have enough of them. We need a dog. We need a Deron Payne, a Jalen Ramsey. I am all for this, 100%. Have you seen our cornerback room? Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Yes, we're going to upgrade it in the draft. But in even then, we need some help. We're going to have two rookie corners out there. They're, all, they're not going to be Sauce Gardner. By the way, he shouldn't have run Wilker. I'm just saying. He shouldn't have won it. I'm just saying. Never going to let it go, NFL. I'm never going to let it go. Completely unrelated. Now, that is what the Panthers are the next to get homes. <laughs> so my thing about this is I'm a big character dude. I was the first one, and I will admit it, to say that I don't think this is going to happen because Jalen doesn't fit the team. And then I said, okay, well, Derek, take, take that out of it. Let's look at it from Brad Holmes. Let's look at it from – and then St. Brown comes out. I'm like, well, so I'm starting to think of it. You know, I put the hand to the chin, got the little thought bubbles above my head, and I said, well, that's, that's the Jalen Ramsey we see because I immediately thought of him and Golden Tate, right? But then I'm saying, okay, you know what? If he comes here, then that, need, that means that Brad Holmes believed in him. Brad Holmes knows, his, knows him better than I do. Who am I, right? So that's what got me to kind of thinking about this. Then I thought about Jeff, Jeff Okuda, Amani O, how terrible he was. He was so bad we didn't even see him. And how an upgrade in the secondary, an upgrade in the, at the linebacker position, and an upgrade in the defensive line, and we are leaps and bounds better than we ended 2022 on. So for me, I'm all for it. And if Amon Ross St. Brown is for it too, hey, just, just point him in our direction, man. I am 100% sure that Brad Holmes knows how to work this thing out. I'm going to just say this. My wife told me the other day, and I ain't trying to be funny, y'all. I'm, I'm not trying to, you know, I'm, funny is what I do naturally, but I'm not trying to be funny with this. I'm being real. My, bag, my, 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 my wife told me the other day, told her I was sleeping, right? She was like, I can tell. You got bags under your eyes, right? Brad Holmes got some of the biggest bags I've ever seen. Under his eyes, not trying to be funny. I think that's because he never sleeps. He never sleeps. He's always worried about the next step. And maybe he's, maybe Jalen Ramsey is in there somewhere. So I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't close the door on Ramsey to Detroit. I'm trying to tell y'all, we have not had a splash yet. We have not had one. And you will see one in Brad Holmes' tenure in Detroit. Believe that.